run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles and Macro here today back again, jumping back in the graveyard keeper. We are down here at the Dead Horse Inn, and I noticed I was doing just some grinding off camera, but the Horadric, the the barkeep, he um he had something to say. So we're gonna see what he's talking about. <laughs> I didn't never notice he spit on the bar and do the wipe down. And I tell you what, I came down here because um I'm trying to get the dinners together to progress the mission with the merchant. And um so we can kind of get further with that and make some more money. And a couple of things that I need to cook to make the dinners to make sure I get 100% gold because you need three uh, gold dinners. I can't make. I guess I haven't opened a recipe or whatever, whatever. So I was going to buy a few of the things, but let's see what he's talking about. I heard about the last witch burning. Sounds like it was quite an event. I think it's absolutely barbaric, but who am I to judge? Um, I also was going to check to see if he has it in his inventory. I might have to buy from the merchant as well. In the old days, our people arranged fights to death just for entertainment. I don't support the burning. For me, it's just a way to sell beer. People even told me that you serve better beer than I do here. <laughs> uh oh. Competition. It's actually pretty good. I can bring you some. Hey, okay. Do I got to go start beer on me? I do not. But I need some of his. Yeah, these gold onion rings. He got. So I'm going to get all 10. Put a little change. Uh, put a little change in his pocket. So yeah, the, I needed either the gold onion rings or it was one one or two other things that I can't prepare. Oh, Hello, darling. How can I help you? Yeah, I got to get the aristocrat papers. So I also got to, like I said, get my sales up, make enough money to buy those aristocrat papers. Um, it's a lot of ways to make money now. Like I don't want to do the, the wish burning thing. Look at this. I got this fully stocked up. And my zombie, there he is. He like, man, I keep bringing this stuff in here, man. <laughs> you need to clear this joint out. So it will get cleared out uh, on the next one. I thought about doing like a tips type video for this. And one thing I was going to mention is this here about Kresvold. I've never really had a need because you can make everything. But I couldn't get him to tier two. But I came and started selling him a lot of stuff. The thing that it did is it left him with no money. He only got 55, so I can't sell him nothing. But it looks like he gets a little bit of money back each day. Because when I came, he had seven yesterday. Um, Because I wanted to be able to sell him this tier two stuff, like these axes I've made. But he wouldn't buy them. I was tier one the whole time I've been playing this, up until like yesterday when I came. And I just sold him like hundreds of these. Yeah, these couple hundred, and some nails. But anyway, his money hasn't replenished. It, it slowly looks like it comes back. So anyway, so again, what we're going to do, the merchant will be here tomorrow. I'm actually going to warp, warp back. We're going to see if we can make these dinners before the merchant comes. And making the dinners are over here. So, so I have the onion rings. I got to make either bowls of lentils or soup which I'll probably do the soup and then a cake so hold on let me see what I got I actually need the ingredients for some of these uh, where is it at where is it at okay it's down here so bowl of lentils okay that tastes water I probably do the bowl of lentils since the water is easy to come by yeah, get five of those, 35, okay. So I need the bowl of lentils and then I also need to make some cakes. So I'm gonna go get the gold lentils. Um, I need this dough. Dough and berries. I thought I had more berries. I kind of stopped getting berries because they weren't being very useful. Oh, I believe that's that pastry dough. Let me make sure pastry dough. Luckily I got quite a few eggs. So we gonna go ahead and make us up few pastry doughs. I said, hopefully we can get all this in. We got a day. We got a day, hey, hey, ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a day. I might have some berries down here because I started storing some stuff down here since I was running out of room. But I don't. Doggone it. 
I'm gonna have to go get some berries. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let that soup be cooking while I go get the berries. Try to manage our time. I made all this wheat too, so I can make paper glop, so that I can make more paper, so that I can run more paper. So we'll do the 50. I need a way to go by hundreds. If you hold left and click the left bumper, it'll move kind of fast, but it's not quite as fast as you want it to be. You see, I got my three zombies down here. Figuring out what I do, what I want to do with these fields. Like I said, I either make wheat. I may put three of them up here too. Leave a gap right here that I can walk through, or a gap up here that I can walk through, and then let them make, you know, maybe the more common ones like wheat that I need, uh, carrots. Even though I got like a dumb amount of carrots. Uh, okay. Oh, you know, I could do grape pies. I mean, I got plenty of grapes. I ain't sure if the grape pies made the dinner though. Let's look at that real quick live. Cause I did see pies. Yeah, okay, we can do grape pies. Yeah, we can do grape pies. Forget them cakes. And then we had everything we need. It just takes time to cook them. All right, cool, 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 cool. So let's go ahead and get this soup burn, uh, soup churning. And while the soup is churning, I will get the grapes. Okay, where's my soup? Where's my soup? Lentil soup. Uh, a bowl of lentils. And let me make sure now. Let me make sure. I don't want to be looking at the wrong thing. Waste, waste a bunch of... Okay, a bowl of lentils. A bowl of lentils. A bowl of pumpkin soup, a bowl of lentils. All right, good, we good, we good, we good. All right, cool, so oh, it's only gonna let us queue up one at a time though. That kind of stank, but it does make two. It does make two, okay. And I need five, it does make two, okay. Let me run over here and get the grapes. But I'm also make that money off of uh, what I've been crafting for the merchant. Oh, you know what? I got grapes downstairs. And even if I don't, I can go pull them from the garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I don't remember how many grapes it said we actually need. So, I'm going to just take 50. That should cover it. That should cover it. Yes, it should. Look at my man. He delivering. <laughs> he keep going back and forth like, eh. And I'm walking back and forth for no reason. Oh, cool. That was actually pretty quick. All right, so bowl of lentils. Bowl of lentils. Everybody doing their thing. Okay, so boom, we got that there. Boom, we got that there. Oh, I still need to make the cakes. Eat the cake. Okay, so after this one gets done, I'm going to do a, a grape so I can... And I could have bought these as well. But again, I, I like to do everything myself as best I can. Uh, hopefully that won't bite us in the foot. You want to make some more? You want me to craft you some more stuff, man? Uh, let's see. We got the most lentils. So let's do three boxes of lentils. We'll do two boxes of veggies. And two boxes of pumpkins. That's seven. It was two down there. He had a third. So that will make a ne another 10 once those sell. Dude gonna be like, man, if you don't quit producing that stuff. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So let's do these grape pies. Grape pies. Grape pies. Grape pies. Y'all. We in the kitchen. Whipping in the kitchen. Uh, What else can we do while we wait? Go over here and maybe make a few gravestones as we can keep preparing for... And I'm like, these are all five. Why would I want to make this one with all of these when I can make this angel one? This one takes these and this. Now, true, it takes two, but this one is only one. But you got to still make the uh, the polished brick and the complex parts. And it's an angel on top of that. It's like a no-brainer. Okay, let me get back in here. It actually 
it makes them fairly fast. Oh no. Okay, we got two. Man, it, I'm I'm gonna be I am really gonna be pushing it to get five of these out in time. Yeah, I started working on this sooner, but hey. We like crunch time. It is what it is. I got four. Okay, cool. We got a whole day. The sun is just coming up. The sun is just coming up. So I'm going to need one more bowl of lentils. What am I doing? Oh. And then we got two more pies that should be coming out soon. It's coming. It's working. It's working. It's working for my good. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm going to go ahead, since I'm queued up on these pies, we'll go ahead and get this last pie done. And then um, I'll go back. Go back to the, uh, to the other one with the bowl of soup. It's gonna work out, y'all. It's gonna work out. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna work. Bam. This will be number four. Number four. Air do da doom doom doom. Yeah, baby. Okay, that pie about to be done, baby. What I got on my inventory, I can dump. What I got in my inventory that I can dump, dump, dump. All right, wait, the cake. There we go, pies. Okay, so we just need this last bowl of soap, bowl of lentils. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna make it. And then, as soon as we done with that, we will make the sale. this dough on me got these grapes on me uh okay i was gonna make a couple more of these um actually need the fence yeah the marble fence these marble crosses are good too but again it takes so many resources now i've been having to work in pumping out wood stuff but they use it so fast, my dude can't bring them down fast enough. You know what? I might have to bump up the efficiency. He, I might need to swap him because the guy I got portering the wood was like the first zombie I made. So I know his percentage of efficiency is only at like eight. Whereas the ones I have now are up to 30, about 28, depending on how many skulls. Um, I would do an extra one, but I ain't gonna worry about it. You know what? You know what? Let's have a backup. I don't think it's 10. To my knowledge, it, it is five. Pretty sure of that. But just in case, never heard to have a backup. We might can sell this just to make a little bit of extra change. I think this is the only, oh, I need to go. Uh, oh, I need to go. I think this is the only reason for the dinners. All right, all right, all right. Let's get our warp zone on. Uh, the dead horse. Run on down to the merchant. What's up, there, merchant? What's up, fam? Let's do our handshake. Dap, 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 dap. We like LeBron them at the NBA. They all them handshakes. Yeah, they all the players with the handshakes. Actually, the Hornets got some dope handshakes too. So we the Hornets. We the Hornets. Hold on. Handshake. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> I have those dinners you wanted. It wasn't easy, but I made them. Looks great. You're a real chef. Tomorrow the court will flood with rumors about tonight's dinner. Come see me next week and I'll tell you how it went. Okay, cool. About the final plan. So does anything else stand between you and the job? I think we've done everything you wanted. Almost. The head of the Royal Council isn't a member of the Gourmets Club. <laughs> the Gourmets. But he has a weakness. What's weakness? Or what weakness? Miss Charms. Charm, if you know what I mean. Oh man, now we doing that? Yo, this game is very spicy and dicey. Oh, I see. What do you mean? Sometimes she gives him private concerts. Wink, wink. <laughs> Sorry, still don't get it. Well, he's rather fond of her little melody. 
so to speak. You know? Wink, wink. So Miss Charm is the only person who can talk him into supporting me. And you're the kind of guy who could possibly get along with her. And there it is, a simple yet elegant plan. <laughs> Any specific instructions? Not really. I've always chosen a good dinner over the company of a woman. Huh. So we got advanced to Miss Charm some more. Man, all this stuff is intertwined. I like how they did the, the story. Just tell me when you've gotten her on our side. Dang, I wonder is it gonna slow me up with her because I still haven't gotten the aristocrat papers. Is the aristocrat papers gonna drive that or is this one she'll do at the level that I am? You know, level 70-ish with rep with her. Dude finna pop up. Yeah, I'm wondering if I have progressed enough. And she would have just left. Like, <laughs> her day would be right behind his. They know what they be doing. They knew what they be doing. Okay, let me see who else who else's story I need to progress. Uh, okay, the astrologer. So, so getting her level up is gonna help with the astrologer line. Um, it also helped with her own storyline. Um, it will help with the merchant storyline. The aristocrat papers that I have to get will also help with the bishop storyline. And hopefully help me get that signed invitation. Me doing this thing with the merchant getting better with the counselor should help with the bishop and getting that signed invitation. So it's all, all intertwining. And at some point I got to go back to Snake and probably go back down in the dungeon to do a little more fighting. Okay, Horridrick with the gold beer. Uh, we can go on and do that before we finish this one out. He always open. And then I'll come back and I can collect my money too. So, oh, I was gonna warp up. Ah, doggone it. I could have took the secret passage. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Okay, so yep, it's almost uh, dawn. So, because of that, that just cashed in my merchant money. Look at my guys here working. Hey, keep up the keep up the good work, guys. Keep up the good work. Hey, keeping my you know my employee morale high. Oh, let me do this since we here. Keep this churning. I really need to take some of this wheat down too. Let me grab this wheat while I'm right here. Might as well. We can go on and take this downstairs while we are en route. Man, they really do make you feel like you got your, your, your little capitalism going on strong. You got all these workers working for you, you know. The only thing they need to add is just being able to buy like property and land. Like if I could expand this and buy more of the land that I can't see, like I'm hoping maybe in an update that's something they're gonna bring. That would be so dope. I can put these lentils back to open up a slot. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, that would be that would be dope if you could uh, buy more property. Some of these areas, because there's certain areas that they made that we can't even access. So I, I like to think, I like to believe, I don't know what the devs are planning to doing because they don't really say. And you know, in their, their little blogs, and you don't have like a road map and all of that. That's popular nowadays. But I would like to think that they're going to expand this because you know spoiler if you don't know by now you try to go to the town you can't get in the town it's like nothing it's a little kind of like a gag it would really be dope if they made the town somewhere you could go and get a bunch of new quests nor usefulness with all of this um and i will say that i use this grand theft auto compare if you play gta 5 the story quest was like great they do a great job with the quest but at the same time i had a gripe because the minute I had enough money and like was really starting to make money, get property, the game was over. The minute you start really making some millions and you know, it was only like one little heist at the end, the game was over. I didn't like that. I thought that they should have gave us way more play. And then as you know, all they did was dedicate it to online. So they didn't really care anymore about, um, oh, I gotta get my, oh, dog, I thought I had a beer ready to go. I had a beer somewhere. I had a beer somewhere. Okay, let me see if we can make a beer real quick. Uh, yes, we got gold hops. All right, cool. So we'll craft some beers, man. I, cause I only needed five. 
I only need to five for that quest. I think I put some somewhere. Give me, give me a second, guys. Let me find where I put my beer. I know I put one in here somewhere. Somewhere. If I don't see it, I ain't gonna worry about it. All right, we'll let it craft. But yeah, so this game, Tomito didn't do that. They did a great job of making most of the things useful. Um, You know, like sermons, and eh, they ain't as useful in making those new sermons. Maybe they get way more of a boost than I know, but I haven't seen it necessary. But pretty much every function that you do in this game it is useful and like the game doesn't end before you use its usefulness, if that's a way to say it. And I really, really like that about this game. Uh, when can you research this? I need somewhere to store this dinner. I'm gonna just put it down here. And even though I feel like I'm nearing the end, I still feel like it's a lot more that I'm gonna have to do that I'm not really expecting. I really, really think that, which again is another good thing about this game. So, yeah. That's my little two cents about this. I think this is just a really, really well done game. Very addictive game, very immersive game. And they did find a great way to get a lot of usefulness out of the uh, the different functions, the different elements of the game. Uh, I'll put these grapes in here, why not? In case I wanna make some more stuff, make some cakes. All right, all right, come on, beer. Come on, beer. Okay, what I'll do, again, for a second, we'll go over here and we'll make some paper glop. And then we'll get ready. We'll get ready to run over here and uh, take this beer back. Yeah, see my dude, he over here crafting the papers and whatnot. But I'm about to run out. Paper glop. Where's that gloppity glop? There we go. There we go. Glip glop glip glippity glop. It takes like 15. Uh it takes like 15 wheat, 20 wheat. So again, that'll be a good reason to keep crafting that wheat. Okay. Then I think it takes two paper glops. I believe it's two to make the uh, the ream of paper, but you do get 30 paper out of it. And I think I need ash as well. So that'll give me a reason to go and uh, cremate a few more bodies. All right, cool. So we got what we need and that should give enough time. This beer should be up here. Bam. Bam. All right, cool. So we got the beer, we got the glop. Let me store the glop. I was putting the glop in here somewhere. Made all these extra chests, but ain't no room for nothing still. I put the glop right here. <laughs> the glop. Let's see if I have any ad. Oh, it's that white paint. That's what it is, the white paint. I can make more of that. You know what, guys? I'm going to wrap it up here. What we'll do in the next one, we'll start that out by checking out um, checking out Horadric at the end at the dead horse and we'll see what he gets for that beer because it may progress the storyline it may take a lot longer than I think it may be simple I don't know we'll find out in the next one so hit me in that comment uh, hit me in that comment box guys make sure you like make sure you subscribe share this so others can see it and I really really thank you for stopping through all right Charles Macro graveyard keeper thank you once again for stopping through I'm gonna holler at you Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name.